Welcome you again today to Covenant Keepers Ministries. It's Tuesday, July 25th, 2025. And I, I believe that all of us are in a war. We need to identify that war that we're in clearly so that we can become victorious by taking the armor of God and putting it on and winning the battle for our mind and our heart. In Proverbs 4.23, it says, keep your heart with all diligence for out of it are all the issues of life. Everything in me that comes out of me flows out of my heart. All the issues of my life faced in my heart. Jeremiah 17, 9, the prophet says clearly, the heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked, incurably sick. Who can know it? So let's talk about the heart a little bit today because we're looking for heart transformation. We're looking to have something change us because the, the number one issue about character is my heart. The number one issue about my character is, is the heart. The heart stands for the whole inner nature. It's all of my inner nature, my, my thought life, my feeling life, my will. The soul of man is always receiving thoughts and impulses from without. It's important to make sure that no disease, no poison, or no infection is allowed into my heart. I gotta repeat that. It's important to make sure. That's why I'm talking about all this indoctrination has an influence on my character because somehow it gets into my heart, so it's important. I don't let any disease into my heart, into my thought life, into my feelings into my will, or into my inner nature, if you please. I don't want any infection. I want no poison. I want no disease allowed in it. In computers, a virus may enter your computer by your visitation of a specific site. Let's say, as a for instance, that you view pornography, and all of a sudden, there's just a little virus attached to that pornography that you opened up. The next thing you know is that that virus has, cre has crept into your computer system and it permeates all over into that computer. And you may even be unaware it's there until something begins to pop up. If the virus is left unattended, it has the potential to lock up your entire system. Then you have to have an exorcist come and exorcise your computer. In the same way, everything, everything that has the potential to poison or infect your heart, which will eventually undermine the virtue and character, must be fought against. Just like the fabric of a quilt, we are weaving webs of fancy in our hearts. Every idea will form holiness in us or will undermine the very principles we fight for. So is your heart vigorous or is it feeble? Healthy or diseased? I'm talking about your spiritual heart now. Are the affections of your heart set on things above or on things of the earth? Today, I, I feel like I've engaged a war for your heart to help you develop godly character the number one thing is heart transformation. So I'm fighting for you to have a heart that's after God. And at the same time, I'm fighting for the heart of your descendants. Without a radical change, no godly character can be formed in any of us. You cannot stamp godliness over the top of evil and call it good. That's why we need a heart transformation. We need to have a heart transformation. I need it, you need it. First and foremost, the heart must be cleansed from sin and then it must be kept holy. See, cleansing is the first step, but keeping it there is the second step. Our heart must be cleansed because our hearts are incurably sick. This is the most fundamental of all places to be addressed concerning character development. This is true because we are powerless by our own efforts to change the evil set up of our heart. Got to repeat that. 
You've got to hear this in your spirit as well as in your mind. The number one issue, the fundamental place to be addressed concerning character development is heart transformation. And this is true because we are powerless by our own efforts to change the evil setup of our heart. Without a heart change, any work on character becomes a band-aid when in fact we needed major surgery. According to George Barna, 87% of, or more of those who accept Christ do so before the age of 13. Parents, are you listening? Have you talked to your children about their need to have their sin forgiven, the blood of Jesus Christ to cover it, and them asking Jesus to be Lord of their life? If you know anything about a person's heart, you know why what George Barna says is true. Imagine how much of the world's ways, how much of the world's philosophy, how much of the world's mindset is locked into anyone who has become an adult just by an exposure to the indoctrination of the media, the social media, the public school system, the environment of an evil that's tolerated everywhere in our country, and the fact that the heart of every man, every woman, every teenager is deceitful and desperately wicked. And our kids, their hearts, our children's hearts are pliable and they're soft. They respond to stimuli, both good and evil, rather readily. Heart transformation paves the way for character development. Left to themselves, all human beings will eventually look out for numero uno. E.M. Bounds, that, make, that great man of prayer, states, heads do not save. Genius, brains, brilliancy, strength, natural gifts do not save. The gospel flows through hearts. All the mightiest forces are heart forces. All the sweetest and loveliest graces are heart graces. Great hearts make great characters. Great hearts make divine characters. God is love. There's nothing greater than love, nothing greater than God. Hearts make heaven. Heaven is love. There's nothing higher, nothing sweeter than heaven. It is the heart, not the head, which makes God's great preachers. The heart counts much every way in religion. The heart must speak from the pulpit. The heart must hear in the pew. In fact, we serve God with our hearts. Head homage does not pass current in heaven. It's easier to fill the head than it is to prepare the heart, end of quote. So I wanna to say to you today, have you had the heart transformation? You need one, I need one. Every child, every teenager, and by the way, Every kid, if 87% of George Barna's right, 87% except Christ before they turn 13, we need to start working while they're in the womb, praying over them, prophesying over them, pronouncing the word of God over them while they're in the womb, and then we do it when they, they come to birth. God help us and God fill us. And of course, in my opinion, the greatest miracle is an adult to have a heart transformation because they're set in their ways already. May God help us today. Pray for your family. Pray for your relatives. And in Jesus' name, God, we're praying that the Holy Spirit will be let loose upon us today, upon me, upon those who watch this video. Because the, the very foundation of a character is our heart transformed. And you're the one that does it. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for your shed blood that our sin could be removed. We give you praise for it. We give you honor that it happened today. In your name, amen. Grace and peace over you today. Have a special day. Follow hard after Jesus. Let your heart be transformed. Let your mind be renewed by the word of God.